It's been less than a month since SpaceX achieved its 400th successful mission, shocking the world with the consistency of its Falcon 9 rocket. As if this milestone wasn't impressive enough, SpaceX has once again pushed the boundaries of rocket technology, breaking yet another record with the same rocket. And we'll be talking all about it in today's video. Before we delve any deeper, make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements and the latest in space exploration. Let's get started. When you hear about all the achievements this small rocket has made, you might think it's been in the market for decades. But surprisingly, SpaceX's Falcon 9 made its debut only in 2010. And in just over a decade, it has revolutionized the space industry. This medium-lift rocket may not be the most powerful launch vehicle on the market, but its true strength lies in its groundbreaking reusability. The Falcon 9 is a two-stage rocket designed for a wide range of missions, from deploying satellites to carrying cargo to the International Space Station. Its first stage, or booster, is powered by nine Merlin engines, which burn a combination of rocket-grade kerosene and liquid oxygen. These engines generate a combined thrust of over 1.7 million pounds at liftoff, giving Falcon 9 the ability to lift payloads of up to 22,800 kilograms to low Earth orbit or 8,300 kilograms to geostationary transfer orbit. While these numbers may not match the heavy lift capabilities of rockets like NASA's Space Launch System or SpaceX's own Starship, Falcon 9 has proven to be a workhorse for a wide variety of missions. The rocket's second stage is powered by a single Merlin vacuum engine, optimized for operation in the vacuum of space. This stage carries the payload to its designated orbit and is expendable, unlike the reusable first stage. Together, these two stages form a highly reliable and efficient launch system. After propelling the upper stage and payload out of Earth's atmosphere, the booster separates and returns to Earth landing either on a drone ship at sea or a landing pad near the launch site. When Musk first proposed the idea of reusable rockets, many industry experts dismissed it as unrealistic. Rockets are subjected to extreme forces, high temperatures, and complex engineering challenges during a launch, making reuse seem improbable. Yet Musk and the SpaceX team persevered, investing years of research and development to make this vision a reality. In 2015, SpaceX successfully landed its first Falcon 9 booster. Boosters are now being reused multiple times, with some completing over 20 flights. This time, the company set a new benchmark for booster reuse, relaunching a Falcon 9 booster just 13 days and 12 hours after its previous mission. This achievement shattered their earlier record of 21 days. The rapid turnaround between launches is not just about reusing the rocket, it's also about refurbishing it quickly and efficiently. After each launch, the booster undergoes a rigorous inspection and maintenance process. Engineers analyze data from the flight, inspect the hardware for wear and tear, and make any necessary repairs or upgrades. Traditionally, rockets were single-use machines, discarded after a single launch. This meant that every mission required building an entirely new rocket, which was not only expensive, but also inefficient and wasteful. Once a rocket completed its job of delivering payloads into orbit, the most critical and costly components, such as the first stage and its engines, were either left to burn up in the atmosphere, abandoned as space debris, or dumped into the ocean. This process meant that millions, or sometimes billions, of dollars worth of hardware was used for just a few minutes and then discarded. For example, the Saturn V, the rocket that famously took astronauts to the moon during NASA's Apollo program, was a marvel of engineering. However, it was also incredibly expensive. Each Saturn V rocket cost an estimated $1.16 billion in today's dollars. A significant portion of this cost came from its engines. The first stage of the Saturn V was powered by five F-1 engines, each costing millions to develop and build. These engines, the most powerful single-chamber liquid-fuel rocket engines ever built, were discarded into the ocean after every launch. 
While this was necessary at the time to achieve the ambitious goals of the Apollo program, it also meant that the rocket's massive potential for reuse was wasted. The space shuttle program attempted to address some of these issues by introducing partially reusable components. The shuttle itself and its solid rocket boosters could be recovered and refurbished after a mission. However, its external fuel tank, which was critical for the launch, was still discarded after each flight. Despite the partial reusability, the space shuttle remained incredibly costly, with each mission averaging about $450 million to $1.5 billion depending on the payload and mission complexity. In contrast, SpaceX's Falcon 9 has completely redefined the economics of spaceflight by pioneering full first-stage reusability. Each Falcon 9 launch costs approximately $67 million, a fraction of the cost of older rockets. SpaceX estimates that recovering and reusing a booster saves about 60 to 70 percent of the total launch cost. This translates to millions of dollars in savings per launch. The first stage accounts for roughly 70 percent of the rocket's overall cost, primarily because of the engines. If a Falcon 9 booster were to be discarded like traditional rockets, it would dramatically increase the cost of every mission. This process allows the same hardware to be flown repeatedly, with some boosters completing over 20 missions. Consider this. If a Falcon 9 costs $67 million per launch and its booster makes up 70% of that cost, then the first stage alone is valued at roughly $47 million. By recovering and reusing this booster, SpaceX is saving tens of millions of dollars with every flight. The company has reported that refurbishing and reusing a booster costs approximately 10% of the price of building a new one, which equates to about $4 to $5 million per reuse. Given that SpaceX has flown some Falcon 9 boosters on over 20 missions, the cost savings are substantial. Over the lifetime of a single booster, the company can save an estimated $800 million to $940 million, depending on the exact number of reuses and refurbishment costs. What's interesting about Falcon 9 launches is that SpaceX often doesn't rely on external customers. SpaceX frequently uses Falcon 9 missions to launch its own Starlink satellites into orbit. This approach accelerates the expansion of the Starlink network and demonstrates the reliability of the Falcon 9 system. As of November 2024, SpaceX has launched nearly 6,700 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. Each Falcon 9 launch typically carries between 20 to 60 satellites, depending on the mission. These deployments are part of SpaceX's plan to build a satellite mega constellation designed to provide global high-speed internet coverage, including in remote and underserved regions. The company's ultimate goal is to deploy at least 12,000 satellites, with plans to potentially expand the network to 42,000 in the future. To reach the initial target of 12,000 satellites, SpaceX would need to launch approximately 5,300 more satellites. Based on the Falcon 9's current capacity of carrying 60 satellites per launch, this means SpaceX would need about 88 additional Falcon 9 launches to meet its goal. The upcoming operational use of Starship will likely reduce the reliance on Falcon 9 for Starlink deployments. Starship is designed to carry up to 400 Starlink satellites in a single mission. If Starship becomes fully operational, SpaceX could achieve the deployment of the remaining 5,300 satellites with only 14 Starship launches. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.